Hey everyone, Ivy League Gaming here, and today we're playing Raid Shadow Legend. No, we're not. <laughs> no, we're not playing Raid Shadow Legends, guys. We're playing Awaken Chaos Era. <laughs> I feel like I just leave that because that's funny. You know what? We're gonna roll with that. <laughs> All right, before I dive into this one, I really want to mention that this was from February 13th. So this is a week ago. Uh, it was a bit of random pulls that I did before going to bed. And then we finish out with another 10 pull at the end of this video. So stay tuned to the end of this video to catch one more 10 pull. My next video will be from a couple of days ago of me pulling shards live on Twitch. And we have some amazing pulls there. So stay tuned. We are playing Awaken Chaos Era. And I'm loving the game so far. I grinded as much as I can, not as much as I would have liked to. I've definitely hit some bumps so far in my progression. Um, I mean, I'm. let's see, what am I doing? I think I was, why am I, oh, because I, I was realizing I didn't collect all my chapter stuff, guys. I didn't even realize it. Um, like, I didn't collect all of my chapter detail bonuses for all of them. But yeah, sorry, I'm... I'm at, where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Come on. There we go. We're at here. We're at nine. We're at chapter nine. Um, I've definitely hit a little bump with chapter eight where I used a friend's unit. And I think there's one in chapter seven that I did as well. Maybe both of them with the bosses. I can't remember, honestly. But they're a little, they were pretty tough. But see, I'm a dummy. I didn't collect all my stuff. Look at all this. Oops. I gotta go back through and make sure I do that. But we have 10 shards to pull. I already pulled, t I did another 10 pull. I'm not going to tell you what I got. I'll actually show my other 10 pull I did um, previously after this one. Figured I wanted to show all my summons on stream. So I'll make sure every time I do summons that I record them. So you guys can see if I get anything super exciting. I'm going to try to wait till I have 10 pulls. Um, so this will just be 20 shards this round. Nothing too crazy. But... It's okay. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm working on the rookie event as much as I can. It's hard though. Um, I'm not grinding campaign as much as I could have because I hit a cut. Well, I hit a block. I was actually surprised. But yeah, using the friend units just helps you get past those pretty good. But I want to show you my people, but I don't want to spoil who I got. So we're not going to do that. We're not going to update you on all my progress just yet. I've also been bad. I was tempted to use my diamonds and get more um, shards. I did use one to get an even 10, but I was tempted to buy 10 more with my gems, or my diamonds, sorry. But I'm like, no, no, I better save them for energy. My bread's actually getting low here. We gotta be careful. And I'm gonna try to be smart with this. I did, I did purchase the silver card, which is $5. I'm not buying the battle pass because it's almost over. And I, oh, I do have a bunch of normal summons to do, so maybe we do the normal in case we get any good. Let's do my normal pulls. See if we get lucky with a rare. I'm gonna fast click. Let's see if we get any lucky rares. There's quite a few good rares um, that I have noted, as well as people that I'm using that I are uh, rares. Sorry, Raid Shadow Legends, elites, elites. I'm just gonna leave all the funny all the oops is in because you guys can relate to I'm sure if you're a raid player the uncommons we're gonna banish of course we need to grind more campaign to get and get more jelly oh my god my jelly is so low I don't know how people have so much jelly I just keep getting everybody up and I was working on my like you don't get your level 60 that fast which is good I mean I played properly for like two days Oh, okay, we actually got a rare. I actually got a rare. I don't believe that's one I need. I'll have to see if it's a fusion one. I think it might be a fusion one. I'm still so new that I'm not... I can't remember all the rares that are actually for the fusions. Oh, wow, look at that one. That was a crapola. What was up with that? That was a bunch of crapola. Come on, come on, give me something good. Give me something good. All right, well, that was some boring. Not that you guys want to see those anyway. Now, limited summons, I'm going to wait for something more interesting um, as far as probably 
Gangalo, that's his name, right? <laughs> I can't remember if I'm pronouncing it correctly. But, you know, I have lovely, lovely Santis, so we need someone to pair well with her, don't we? All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, new epic, Lodric. He looks like the Dark Fae. Oh, come on. Damn it. <laughs> All right. I need to look into my new epics. Um, at least for the rares, we did get another Connor. And we got Mary. She's new. I saw her on some lists of suggested rare champions. Let's take a quick look at her. Removes a negative effect from all team members at the start of the turn. Can only be triggered once per three rounds. So she's like Doom Priest in Raid, but a little bit of a limitation. Chance to stun on her A1. A2 grants a bonus turn to, t to a team member at the end of the round, as well as damage up and immune for one turn. Okay. Removes one negative effect from all team members and grants one stack of invincible. Okay, so we have, uh, in raid terms, we have a cleanse. Remove one debuff and then place block damage. All right. I'm going to say a lot of things in raid terms, guys, just so that way my raid followers can help relate to this game as well as they're learning just like I am. Now let's take a look at our Dark Phase husband. Father? Father. Father. If you guys play raid, you know exactly what I mean. Is this not Dark Phase father? Right? I'm sorry, I'm blocking his name here. Can they move me? <laughs> All right, let's see his abilities. Grants holy punishment for one turn. If no damage is taken in the previous turn, otherwise grants holy protection for one turn. So holy protection increases damage. Unremovable. Oh. And holy protection. Holy punishment increased damage. Holy protection reduces damage received. So it's like a shield... Or uh, an increased defense kind of thing, I guess. I love that they actually put these tool tips with the descriptions of the skills right with it. When you first get a champ, you don't have to go figure out what that skill is. I love that. All right, deals 50% damage to an enemy with a 100% chance to remove one of their positive effects. 30% chance to launch a bonus attack on all enemies. Single target. I heard so John in one of his videos said you need a single target Damage dealer of each affinity, but I don't know remember why, so tell me in the comments below um, what I'm looking out for there. But obviously AoE is really nice for clearing waves, but maybe there's a certain boss that has damage reduced from AoE attacks. I don't know, we'll see. Still a lot to learn. Removes all negative effects from this character and heals for 15%. Grants a bonus turn. Oh, that's nice. Okay. At first I was like, eh, he just heals himself, or cleanses and heals himself, but then, okay, at least he gets another turn so then he can go actually do some damage afterward. That's really nice. Deals 90% damage to all enemies and grants invisible to this character for one turn. Okay. AoE. How does he hit, guys? Let me know in the comments below. Do you use him? Let me know. And then we got a Lordric. Lordric? Lordric. If this character has any negative... Effects, restores health, deals 70% damage to one enemy and applies a tech down for one turn. Removes all control effects from this character when this character is affected by a control effects and there is 50% chance to use an alternate ability to counterattack. Oh, this is a passive. I was like, this sounds so weird. It's a passive. I was going to say, this doesn't sound like a skill. Can be triggered one- wow, that's fun. So he can just cleanse himself and have a chance to use his ultimate every time he gets- It's like fully or something where like, it's like, haha, you better not debuff me or you're gonna be screwed. Okay, he sounds fun already. Deals 70% damage to all enemies and removes one positive effect from the target. Up to 100%. Alright, inability to cool down. I mean, he sounds fun. Um... 
And I, I said, what do we got for affinity? We got a wind and a water. All right. So we're very, we have a little bit of everything so far. That's good. So far, we're doing good with the affinities. We're getting a little bit of everything. Again, I'm Mary. I have to definitely make sure I lock her. What about this one? I feel like that was a name. Rujago. I feel like this was mentioned as well in some rare suggestions. 50% chance of counterattacking. With decrease attack, taunt, and passive attacks have a 25% chance of granting elemental advantage. Okay. Feels 120% damage and apply. All right. So we use single target. Okay. All right, guys. Well, not the most exciting bit of shard pulls, unless I'm missing something interesting. If you guys have some fun comps with some of the champions I pull, let me know. Uh, I've still have so much to learn. We're grinding. We're oh, we're completing missions along the way. Give me some friggin' pumpkins. My girl needs. All right, my girl needs her six star to happen. We're working on it. We're working on my girl getting her six star, aren't we? But guys, and you've got me again with my face. Not here, I know, I'm sorry. But we have some more summons to do. We just got another 10 pull worth, so why the hell not? Let's friggin' go, guys. Let's go. One more 10 pull for this video. Why the hell not? I promise I will be doing all this properly with full streaming setup and my face and all the things. But for now, we're just finishing out this out with a bang, I hope. Let's go. Let's go. Please. I'm so excited. Ah! He's a weird orc. Meh. That's it. Oh, come on. I was going to say, is that it? <laughs> Ricard. Isn't he literally just the other dude's brother? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> we got another Joseph and another Connor. That's not too bad. I see a couple fusion champs. That's helpful. Oh, I just want, you know, we want to see gold, right? We want that gold. We want to let go. God damn it. Alrighty. Or I just want, I know, like, I feel like this is very different than Raid. In the sense of, I actually want dupes. Like... I'm kind of hoping for some good dupes to be able to ascend my champions. So I'm not, I feel like I'm already at the point. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's not really worth it. But I'm already excited if I get dupes of the people I have because I see like the value of ascension and increasing their base stats. It seems really good at least. Maybe I'm wrong. But yeah, I feel, I really feel like the ascension is pretty powerful. So. I'm actually really hoping to get some uh, some dupes of my characters I've got already, but for now, well, Connor is what I'm using actively. Um, but we're working. Oh, I'm not yawning. You're yawning. We're working toward the fusions too, so I will keep grinding. Let me know in the comments below, though, what do you guys think of the fusions? Like, which one are you going for first? What should I go for first? Let me know. Alright guys, I'm going to let you go for now. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.